Howdy RC aliens and welcome. I am Paul Yateman. I've drawn stuff for as long as I can remember. Today the plan is to draw something from my sketches I did yesterday. So here's a chest burster in a Tim Burton style with some eyes, some various tongues and some various other animals. Uh, this thing here is supposed to be a derelict although I could say stick some legs on it or maybe do some wheels where those three little circles are but something else I was thinking about drawing today but uh, what I think I'll do is stick to the Tim Burton Predator sorry the Tim Burton chest burster using the elements that I've drawn here so let's get into it On this channel, I make use of my drawing experience as well as my design and training qualifications to show how I go about drawing and creating artworks. I'm about 10 years out of practice and aiming to relearn my skills and figured I'd share this with the world. If joining me on my drawing and design journey is of interest to you, whack the subscribe button, hit like, and tell all your friends about me. For May, I decided on a hashtag Tim Burton challenge. This is where I draw in a Burton-esque style. As the time-lapse drawing plays in the background today, I think I will philosophize. I was thinking these videos could get a bit repetitive with the same intro and sign-off. Does that drive anyone bonkers on YouTube? Or is it accepted that every video is treated as potentially the first video a viewer might come across? Surely everybody knows, regardless of exposure to this site, the drill of subscribing and liking and how everyone dreams of at least 1,000 subscribers and enough view hours so they can monetize their channel. Therefore, it's probably not necessary to call for subscribers or for likes. If either is warranted, then won't it just happen? For me, having a huge channel is a long way off, if it ever occurs. Not that that's a particular concern of mine as I'm just filming a daily drawing and uploading it every one or two days. Hopefully, if I compare my drawing in 10 years time, they will have gotten better and faster. Hopefully, you people get something out of the videos by watching them. I reckon what I drew when I fired up this channel late last year versus what I draw now shows improvement, so that's something. I have noticed a lot of channels here only show the one style and the drawings all tend to be the same. With my monthly challenge, I hope to limit that while developing my style so I can draw anything in my style or a specified style. Uh, probably because I think that's important if I was doing this commercially. I'd love to be known for my style, though as I am a realist and with my science background, I'm fully aware that specialists have a shorter half-life than generalists. Unicorns are extinct for a reason. Okay, so that finishes up the drawing. What do you think? Does this look like a chest burst that Tim Burton might have done? Have a go at your own Burton-esque style and tag me in the comments or on social media. And as always, if you have found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you were inspired to draw on your own sketchbook or journal, etc. Subscribe, like and share. Until next time, you've been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao, take care and happy drawing.